Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Paola and in case that you're new here, I make videos that are beauty, fashion, and lifestyle related. And if you are new, please don't forget to subscribe. It really means a lot to me and thank you so much if you've already subscribed. So for this video, I decided to go with a like summer tropical, you know, like con candy sunset kind of eye look. I don't know I just made that up but that's what the inspiration was behind it and I just used some Colourpop press pigments to come up with this look and trust me it is so easy to do I know that you can do it so if you want to see how I did this and you know follow along with me here we go all right since skin is number one I already missed my face with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist and then I'm gonna follow it up with the Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost and I'm just smoothing it all over Alright, time for primer. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer, and I love this stuff. The one in the pink is bomb.com. Now time for brows. Who am I without my brows? This is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate. But first I'm taking the number 12 brush and just kind of, you know, spooling it out and then going in and drying them. Way better. Now to clean them up, I'm using the NYX Concealer or HD Studio photogenic concealer and this is in the color CW06 I think it's called glow and don't worry if a little bit gets down there it's okay as long as you smooth it out I know it looks crazy but I'm just putting a little extra to use as a primer or base for my shadow so they can really pop now it's time for the fun stuff these are color pop press by the way this one is in sandbar and I'm just applying it right into the crease and I know it's crazy it's like a hot pink for my crease but trust me it's gonna look bomb now this one is the color tiki which is like this golden yellow color I love 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 this color for the summer this is gonna represent my Sun in this sunset look and I'm packing it right right into the inner corner of my lid And just because it's just not as intense as I wanted to, I'm just using my fingers to pack it in there. Now I'm going back to the sandbar color and I'm just going to place it on my lid in kind of a diagonal motion. You're going to see it. It's going to come like, think from the center of your face on out. And then don't forget to blend as you go. Now this color is gorgeous. It is a really bright purple and the color is 143. And I'm using that in my outer V. Of course, you know, I'm blending as I go. Now it's time for foundation. I've really been loving the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is in the color Cocoa or Cacao. Hmm, not sure. But it's the number 376C. And I love this little applicator it comes with. It just lets me get it everywhere. And I'm just pouncing a moist beauty blender. This is actually the Real Techniques one. You know, the beauty sponge. And oh no, what am I gonna do about these bags? I got an idea. So I'm just putting some of this Wet n Wild Red Lipstick right under there. Kind of, you know, color correcting kind of thing. I'm blending it in just with my fingers, nothing too fancy. And now I'm going in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is in the color NW40. You gotta, you know, contour, highlight that face. Again, just kind of dabbing and doing a sweeping motion just to get it you know all blended out I always do the tip of my nose just to help it define my nose anyway time to bake a little this is the city color banana powder in matte finish 
and I'm just putting on there with the opposite side of the little beauty sponge I am gonna end up adding more in a second I just wanted you know to get that first base down and this is the ColourPop eyeliner in the color swerve while I'm baking I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in my waterline Now I'm just going to go in with the Colossal Big Shot by Maybelline. I love this mascara. It curls my lashes because I definitely forgot to curl them. but um, And I couldn't find my curler at the time anyway. But I'm just applying these to kind of, you know, serve as a good base for my lashes. And now I'm going to go in with the Contour Cream Kit by Anastasia. And I'm using this darker color here. And I'm just contouring starting right from the middle of my ears and working my way towards my lips kind of you know and then framing my face and of course I can't forget about my nose I know it looks harsh but it'll blend out and it'll be just fine now I'm just taking a clean brush and just kind of taking all that banana powder off of me you don't leave it on too long have flashbacks and I'm just blending out my contour and I go back with that brush just to you know set everything since it is a cream contour now it's lash time these are the kiss 05 and I'm using the duo lash adhesive hey yeah and then this is the Revlon color stay liquid eye pen is a ballpoint one I love it for covering up lines without doing a wing liner This is the BH Cosmetics Professional Blush, and the color that I'm using is like a peachy pink color. It's not too pink and it's not too peach either. I think it's perfect for girls with my skin tone. And now it's time for some bling. This is the Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter in Rodeo Drive. I actually got this from BoxyCharm and I love it. And I like putting it on with this Sonia Kasha um, brush. I actually got this at Target, y'all know, super cheap. Ooh, can't forget about that nose now time for the lips this is the wet n wild color icon um, lip liner in brandy wine the number is 666 should I be freaked out I'm gonna read that as 999 <laughs> and now I'm you I'm going in with max twig and I'm kind of gonna do like a lip contour kind of thing because right in the center I'm gonna use max hue Then to set, I'm just using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. It's a makeup extender, and I'm done. I told you guys it was easy. I really hope that you liked this video. If it was easy for you to follow along, or just if you just liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't already and you're really digging my vibe, don't forget to subscribe. And what else? Oh, yeah. I'll have all my social media links down below if you recreate this look or just if you want to connect with me, you know, you want to be friends. I'll have that down below. Don't forget to look me up. And yeah, if you have any comments, suggestions, any of that, leave it in the comments down below. I love to talk to you guys down there. And if you have a friend that might really dig me, I know that sounded really grandma-ish. It's okay. Y'all knew what I meant. Don't forget to share this video. And yeah, until next time. Bye, guys.